So you can start a new file. So you can go to file a new file. It will ask you, it will give you a default wizard to connect to data source, select data source. I think this is not required for now. Just cancel it. So this is a click view file. On top you see these uh, tool boxes. You can enable them. One is navigation, one is design, one is sheets. So you can enable these or disable. Standard is the top one. Are you able to hear me? I mean, uh, is there any lag or anything that you feel? Or are we good? Or are we good? It's fine. Okay. Good. So when you launch the Clickview application, this is what it comes up as a blank thing. So this is the UI where you draw all the charts, all the graphs, and all. Like we said. So if you look at our architecture, we have the extractor transformation data model. None of these three files, right, or any of these files will have no UI, so no interface. So they, you don't build any charts, you don't build anything. Only the final application will have the UI. But in the when I say no UI, you not, I mean you don't have to spend time. But for data validation or anything, right, at the data model stage, we will put up some tables or charts or anything so that we validate data. So you do most of the validation in the data model state when you extract the data and all. There is a set of another data validation of the UI application when you do when you have all the charts and all ready. So this is the extractor file. We'll go ahead and save it. So the first best practice for ClickView is whenever you start a ClickView file, always save it. The reason is it will not allow you to refresh until you save it. One reason. Second is suppose you don't save it, you start with all the path you set up uh, all the paths and all. Then you save it. The saving location might be different from the paths that you selected. So what will happen is, again, the file will fail, and you'll have to redo all the path selection of file. So the best, always best practice is to save the file. So we'll, be good, we'll just name this as extractor file. Okay. This is the extractor file. Now to create the script, the back end is the script editor. To go to the script editor, you'll have to go file script editor. I'm not going to these options available over here. These are more or less the application options which are similar to all the other applications. I'll go through the main options that are available so that we can, I mean, you can concentrate more on that. So you can go to edit script. This will take you to the script editor. So this is the script editor which has, where you'll have to write. Now, if you immediately see, you have some set statements. It is more or less like the programming of a SQL statement only. You have set, and most of it is modified SQL. And there are a few advanced functions that will help you to build more easily. Now, this is the script editor. Script editor itself looks like a separate application window. Over here, you have file, edit, insert. All these are normal. Most of it are normal application options. There are a few specific, we'll see through that. On the bottom part, you have four tabs, data, functions, variables, settings. The data tab is anything and everything to do with data extraction, so, be it database, which is on the left side, and data from files, which is on the right file. Data from files includes data from Excel, flat files, web files, click view files, QED files, everything is data from files. Anything to do with the database is on the left side, database connectors. Functions is all the inbuilt functions that are available in ClickView to use to do any transformations. We'll come back to this. Variables, again, you can use any existing variables in the applications. We'll come back. Settings, what you want, how you want the database to write. Now we'll look at it. To begin with data, now on the top you have this main tab. So main tab is a default tab which comes in. You can write the entire script in this uh, one tab itself. Okay, So there's no limitation as to how many lines you can write. Unlimited lines. So you see this line counter, right? Unlimited lines. But the best practice is always have multiple tabs. Clickway has given you an option to create tabs. So you go under, under tab, say add tab. It will add multiple tabs. Like this, you can start adding. So based on your project, you can create multiple tabs. 
Now what this multiple tabs will enable is better code management. Suppose tomorrow you have to come back and review the code or find out a problem in a particular table. You don't have to scroll down or search. You can create like this. One is sales, one is uh, you can say products, you can say customers, territories. So like this you can create multiple tabs. There's no limitation as to how many number of tabs you can create. So that is a best practice so that you can easily do it. Now to begin with sales. Now on the main you can create you can keep all the main options or functions that are there so that like connection string. 